Okay, so um, I played around with some settings and I've been able to come up with um, a solution for the uh, file size uh, for our character animations. Most of the animations are like over five megabytes. So these two uh, character animations are more or less um, identical, um, you can tell, but one is 9.2 megabytes and then the other one is 4.61. And I'll show you the solution um, to that now. So I'm gonna escape out of New York City and open up Blender. And I'm gonna make a, a new, I'm gonna start with a new uh, file. And I'm gonna hit A to select all and X to delete all. And then I'm gonna import my um, FBX file that um, this is assuming that you're you kind of use the Ready Player Me or the Make Human um, workflow and that you already have animation on the FBX character. So I'm going to find that uh, Samba dancing, which is the the FBX um, file out of Mixamo. I'll import that into Blender. And I'm going to use the same file settings, um, except there is one import or one export setting, a, a channel uh, called shape keys, which we are not using. I don't think there's any shape keys in the FBX animations out of Mixamo, but um, if we include them, it you know almost double doubles the file size. All right, so um, I'm going to basically go through the same steps. I'm going to say file export GLTF. I want that to be the GLTF embedded. I want to uh, include the selected objects only. Should be still selected as long as you've imported it and haven't done anything else. Transform, Y up, geometry, UVs, normals, vertex colors, materials, those are the defaults. I played around with the compression and neither Blender or, nor New Art City seem to like the compressed files. So what we're going to do instead is um, uncheck the shape keys right here in the, in the animation tab. And then I'm going to say, we'll say this, uh, save this in the same file. And I actually want no shape key, and I'll call it no shape key B. Second time I've done it. And I'm going to say export GLTF. And it will have a little think. And you can see here, like these are the the, the, the compressed version that I did. It, it actually didn't save that much um, information. There's also, okay, so now uh, I'm going to open up New Art City. I'm gonna say upload, or actually, I'm gonna go into New Art City and I can, let's say I wanted to replace uh, this large file. I'm gonna actually keep it in there just so you all can see the difference. Um, but I can say replace here and then upload uh, so that you save all the information um, that you've already added. You can just go ahead and, and upload the, um, the recompressed file, right? So that's 4.6 megabytes. I'm gonna show you on um, this, this version so it's basically a duplicate. So I'm gonna say replace and that key B, say file open, and then it's going to just go through and just swap out the file, retain all the metadata so you don't have to futz around with that, which is great. And I think the scale, yeah, so it saved the scale, all of that stuff, which is great. And then I can go into preview. And there she is. So this is the this is the re-updated one on the My left, and then the, the, the large one on the right. All right. So um, I just want to also make uh, mention that I did also try um, exporting out of Mixamo with um, with some settings. So I said I tried the keyframe reduction settings. It didn't reduce the file size by, by very much, but it kind of actually um, really modified the the animation itself. So it, it reduced the kind of expression of the animation. In fact, I think I can import that. It will be an FBX. And I try to do it here, the uniform and non-uniform. So you can see like 
The FBX file is a little bit smaller. It just doesn't have any of the texture data associated with it. When we export the GLTF, it, it's exporting with the image texture data, so it's a little bit bigger. But you can see that it didn't make a huge difference um, in file size here um, between the, the uniform, almost not even a tenth of a megabyte. And then uh, I'm going to import the non-uniform, which was the real kind of file size savings, and then play them over top of one another so you can kind of see the difference. All right, I'm going to turn that off and then I'm just going to play through. So you can kind of see like the, the, that there are not identical animations and that the, the non-uniform compression is like super shaky. You can kind of see like the feet kind of float and then they're a little bit jittery. And they also don't have kind of like the full um, expression, like the head doesn't quite move as much, right? Like it, it looks a little bit stiffer. So I think that that was not a reasonable solution. It didn't do what I wanted it to do and it caused some strange artifacting. So the, the shape key animation seems to be the, the, the way to go. So I'm gonna say file, import and this is i'm not going to show you anything new this is just comparisons at this point so if you're not interested <laughs> feel free to leave now um and then here is the compress um no shape key b so i'll show you those kind of side by side so what we have going on in this file layered on top of one another is the original fbx out of um mixamo the um, non-uniform keyframe reduction out of Mixamo, and then the exported GLTF out of Blender without the shape key. So you can see, yeah. So the, the kind of one that looks a little bit funny, uh, that's the one where the two, layer, two are layered on top of one another, um, and it causes that a slightly strange kind of texturing look, but that's the the original FBX uncompressed, nothing done, and then the GLTF. So you can see that they're they're much more tightly um, aligned in terms of their animations, where where they are, how they take up space, the kind of detail. So that's it. Um, if you have any other questions, we will catch up uh, at another time. But this is the, the kind of end of this demo. All right, y'all. I will see you in class. Take care. Bye.